Okay. Good morning. Go. Um, we're here. We've, we've got a fast stop this morning. We've got um, Simona Irwin with us and um, we just, uh, all three of us um, went to CHFA uh, East this weekend. Uh, some of us more than others, um, but uh it was a really incredible show, had some just um, some really incredible energy that I think we're still feeling all the way around. Um, but the three of us got to talking last week and and, and uh, what we wanted to do was react a little bit to the show and then also give brands and and founders and retailers, um, you know, some advice coming out of the show because um, of all the excitement. Um, and so maybe what I'll do is first we'll get, uh, Simona, do you want to just, uh, introduce yourself to the grouping and then, and then give us your kind of first reactions in the show? Yeah, for sure. So my name's Simona. Um, I'm the managing director of Uprising Naturals, which is, um, a consulting company and we do corporate consulting, fractional work, and also online courses for natural CPG. Um, my background is I've been kind of on all sides of the CPG value chain for about 20 years. And then kind of the other side too, is I've had a kind of daily mindfulness and meditation practice for those 20 years as well. So a lot of my consulting and a lot of the coursework that we do is kind of marrying that corporate side with the mindfulness side. Awesome. Awesome. We are very glad for you to join us. Um, what what is all this excitement? Um, what is this trend? Like I saw a lot of people very excited, um, and and I uh, missed part of the weekend because I I just wasn't feeling well. But I feel like both of you also saw just a ton of like we were just talking about hugs and handshakes <laughs> and people just being generally excited, right? But what is what does this feel like? It translates into for for brands and founders and retailers? I think like, I mean, a few things that I noticed. One is I'm just loving, um, I feel like CHFA in general is just elevated. I think they've done an amazing job with the shows, which with how they support retailers and brands and just the general excitement from their team is like contagious, I think. And it really kind of trickles out to everyone so mm -hmm. just like a kudos to them for sure because I've been going for um, like almost 20 years now and mm -hmm. I just feel like in the last few years it's like a big difference um but yeah I you know I think there I think a lot of people are just excited to be back in action and like face to face and seeing people there's a lot of stuff that was put on pause too that I think it's like now everyone's showing up with all their new stuff yeah there was like a lot of new things, a lot of new brands, a lot of kind of new flavors and ideas and um, just a lot of energy overall. Yeah, I think um, and I think the 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 thing that we were talking about as well is coming out of this. It's it's inspirational for, you know, kind of for everyone, right, to take the ideas they saw, the harness, the energy and start to go away and do things um but the yeah. you know the fractionals i think in all of us will probably laugh a little because any time that a uh, a brand owner a founder a retailer someone who runs their own business gets into these places where they see all this excitement it usually generates a lot of movement um, yeah, hyperactivity <laughs> Hyperactivity. <laughs> hyperactivity is I, I was trying to figure out the right word, but <laughs> that's the right word. Yeah, all of those hyperactivity. Words, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? What? Um. What's the? Any? Any advice for some very excited founders? Um. Yeah. You know, kind of like you know, it's now Tuesday morning, right? So Monday they've had time to recover, maybe start. Or they're flying away. Monday, and today they're, they're waiting for Monday. all the emails. Like, yeah. what's happening? What yeah. happened? Yeah. So what yeah. happens? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, you know, I think back to some of my kind of earlier days when I just was like very in the hustle, never wanting to stop. And it was like that plane ride was just like writing, you know, a thousand emails. Putting them into and the outbox. Poor team when I connect to the internet. Yeah. Like, oh my God, no. But, you know, I like to think of, you know, when we're talking with clients and other people, I always have these like nature analogies. 
And I think of like the show, of course, as like a big kind of wave. And it's like, mm-hmm. you know, there's all this excitement and momentum and really Saturday and Sunday are like the peak of the wave. Right. And um, and we should feel it. And it's like exciting. And we should be in it. And it should give us like a ton of ideas and and even some hyperactivity. But I think the part that some people forget is, you know, it's just inevitable that this wave has to come back down in order to kind of, you know, find its balance again and kind of recalibrate before you kind of move forward. So what I always say to people is, you know, just go with the natural flow of when things go up, but really don't forget that that downtime is so critical. And that's when we can Mm. ask good questions, you know, like, you know, what are, what are, what were our goals going into the show and what are, what's our mission and what are our values? And then in that downtime, you know, take a break first (laughs) and then, you know, look at all your opportunities through that lens of goal, mission, values, core values, and what, where you really need to go versus having this hyperactivity, like Mm. you said, like, okay, we have to keep this momentum up and we have to just go higher and higher and reach out to everyone and do every Mm. opportunity. Or, you know, if mushrooms were in seven brands over there, now we have to have a mushroom line. Oh gosh. Like from the show, everyone's going to be putting chaga mushrooms in everything. (laughs) Yeah. So you want to be like, does this, you know, does this meet my customer persona? You know, do, is this going to help me hit my goals? Does this make sense for my business? Mm. And then once you figure that out, then it's like, okay, who on my team is best suited to do this or this or this mm. and spreading it out, but with intention, right? Um, and then taking it, allowing that slow time and knowing that you're building to that next wave of revenue or profitability, mm. but you really do need to let it settle for a few days but clearly having intention is is critical because you yeah. can see a lot of the founders or more of the executive level of the shows they're pumped because everybody's the way you got to remember is at a show everybody's excited yeah so buyers um so if you're on the on the, on the vendor side buyers are excited too so they like seeing things and you might see 40 buyers and 35 of them said yeah it's very interesting i really like it doesn't mean anything necessarily, right? And from your side, before you go out and try to capture all 35, is, is take a look at it and say, okay, who, who of these actually does fit mm-hmm. my world and my brand and what mm-hmm. I want to do? Because you're, we're, everybody's excited to what you're saying, Simone, and then they're running around emailing, but half the people probably, it's good that you connected, and I'm, I'm glad everybody's excited to the show, but it's probably not a great fit either side if you really sat back and analyzed them. Just a little bit and like you said take the excitement of this show out for just a moment and say okay really it was really great seeing phil but you know what his store is probably not the greatest fit Mm. really at this time Mm. and as much as i appreciate it maybe a quick note saying hey thanks for stopping by or something Mm -hmm. like that but just calm it down like just bring it down a notch until you can see you know was it really a good fit is it a good fit is that where you want to be because i do think people miss that too and then they just said fifty thousand emails and then they're all agitated, you know, on Thursday of this week because nobody's responded back. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And I think that, and then the office is a mess and everybody's uptight and they're, you yeah. know, yeah. Thinking, wow, went from a super yeah. exciting show to, like, we've crashed right onto the rocks and there's carnage <laughs> everywhere. And it was really, it wasn't that bad. It was, you got to breathe for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yeah, you do need to breathe for a minute. And yeah, I, I agree. It's like the intention. And then that's also not overlooking the smaller opportunities too, like you said, like sometimes, you know, people might be disappointed if they, you know, didn't see a Loblaws or a Sobe right. or a Whole Foods, mm. but then it's like they see one of these, a smaller natural store, but actually a lot of those stores can do double the volume. It's like a healthy <laughs> planet or some of the goodness means you don't get maybe mm-hmm. quantity of store, but those yeah. little stores can crank. That's right. Exactly. And yeah. it may be a better fit for you too. And it might be a whole better business for you to be in now. Maybe not, yeah. but at least some thoughtful intentions of looking at it and critically saying, okay, now that I'm calming, let's see what really makes sense. Yeah. I, I like the idea of intention too, because I think, um, you know, being a leader in the company, it's good practice, right? Is being able to articulate, you know, because 
in a lot of these companies, not everybody, um, you know, in the company can go to the show. And so you, you'll you have, you know, the, the founder, the CEO, the leader, whoever that is, go, you might have a marketing person, you might have a salesperson, right? And that might be it. It's, I like the practice of being intentional and also being able to like frame up what makes you so excited so that maybe the team back home what they get from you before they get the 40, 45 emails, right? Is, hey, these were the top three things that really made me excited, right? Like, and then that allows the team to go, okay, I get why the 45 now, but maybe I can help you, you know, because I think you're right. Like being intentional means you've got to be able to say to your crew, everything we're doing is good. I would like to throw a little lighter fluid on what we're doing and not hey, by the way, everything we're doing, stop doing it because we're doing shitty things. <laughs> <laughs> I found better things in this show, which is normally how it comes out, right? In, well, you know, email number 14 or so is when everyone yeah. goes, all right, so you thought we were doing a bad job before. So, you know, I'm going to throw everything out and just do these 41 things. We should be fine, right? Like, yeah, yeah. I think it is like, there is such like, you know, even outside of the show, there's such a culture of, extreme busyness and just doing things being stuck in the doing cycle mm. um and it just becomes um especially for team members and especially for junior team members that don't feel like they have the right to kind of speak up it's like right. they don't necessarily understand the vision of the business or maybe no one's told them the vision mm -hmm. of the business and then they just get all these fast changes and to do's and there's no real alignment on the why. Um, and I've always found that when you let your team understand the why behind it and everyone's aligned, then getting that action is uh, becomes so much easier. I love it. Mm -hmm. um, Simona, thanks for jumping on. This is yeah, amazing. Thanks, so much. thanks for hanging on, waiting for us to find yeah. you somewhere. In yeah. Oh my God. Space. No problem. Thanks, okay. guys. I hope you both feel better soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I'm sure Thanks. It'll, pass. it'll pass quickly and it will be done. Yeah. And then we'll okay. catch up. We'll still hope you in a couple months. See how you're doing. See what's going on. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. awesome. Thank Bye, you. Okay. Thanks, Bye. Mona. Bye.